Hey guys, it's a Monday night and we are in the month of August and because it's a Monday night, you know what that means. It is take and make night. My name is Beth and I am here to demo how to do our first take and make for the month of August. My friend Jenny puts together these awesome crafts for our public and patrons to come and pick up. Everything is included here each couple weeks because we do two of them a month on a really long month she tries to squeak in an extra craft on us um, but each time she includes everything you need they're well thought out crafts they're very timely i think she's just been spot on um, we just did cooling mist for these hot days of summer bug bite relief cream and this time after this long long year that we've had separation not vacationing, masking, not masking, quarantining, not quarantining. It's really made us turn our sights on what's important. I know it has for me, I'm sure it has for you, and we all know at the end of the day, it's about who you love and your peeps, right? Your family, your friends, and those who are friends who you call family. So this is a great kit. This is called a photo clipboard, and I'm just gonna open up my kit here get all my stuff out and show you what we've got. All right. I've got my photo clipboard and you should have a container of acrylic paint, a container of Mod Podge. I always want to say that wrong our transfer tape, some vinyl that Jenny has so kindly cut for us. My hands are shaking. Vinyl that Jenny has so kindly cut for us. Um, we're gonna have a little makeup sponge, some gloves, you're gonna need these, a little dauber paintbrush, and this looks just like a wad of something, right? It is not actually just stain that you're gonna need a towel or a rag for it is a stain wipe did you know that you can buy these you can go in the store and buy these just like you could baby wipes or hand wipes and it's just got the little pull up thing you pull your stain wipe out go to town these are intended for indoor use so if you're going to do a project that you want to stain and you think oh perfect not perfect you're going to want to go old school get your stain wet your rag, rub it on, rub it off to whatever um, color you want, or you could do a stain gel. But we're working inside for an inside craft, so this is all we need. All right, I'm gonna pop this guy open here. Maybe I have scissors. Just gonna pop through the plastic. Get rid of this, be super careful with your silica. That's a little pack that keeps any moisture away from your wood so it won't swell and warp. You don't wanna get those around your little people or your pets, super important. I probably don't have to tell you that, but the mom and dog owner in me says I do, so I'm going with it. Ugh, peel that off. Your clip is movable, so if it's not quite tight, don't sweat it. And then I'm gonna glove up. Number one mistake I made when I did a test run, because you know I have to do a test run, I mess things up. But the number one mistake I made, I got both gloves dirty with the stain wipe. Don't do that. Try and hold like one hand holy that you're gonna keep clean. So if you're right-handed, I suggest using your left for holding your frame or your clipboard, moving your clip so you can stain around and on it. All right, going in with the right hand, people. I'm just gonna kind of work it open a little bit. And then let me tilt my camera down. Cause you don't need to see me, you need to see the work here. Bring this guy a little more forward. And easy peasy, we're just gonna stain the board. I'm gonna start at the top cause I like to get the hard part over. I'm gonna start at the top and work around this clip and you're literally just wiping your stain on. Now I covered my table with this plastic um, kind of, I don't know what it's called, 
there it's got a backing to it like a cloth backing to it so i can wipe it off i use it over and over um, for projects it's a little firmer than just the regular old plastic um, tablecloths you can use and i like that i can use it and reuse it and use it so i got up under the clip on this side i'm going to spin the clip around turn my board and start working from this direction. Some of it's gonna get on that clip and that's okay, we can clean it up. We can take a little rag or a paper towel before things are dry. Get in there and get it all taken care of. Turn my clip again. I'll hold it with this hand. And I'm gonna show you how I'm gonna do all of the edges I don't want to look at it from the side or if I hang it somewhere low I don't want to see the white or the wood on those it's not really white same thing it's a little rough on this end so I'm going to sort of dab it on there I have to tell you I'm kind of obsessed with these wood stain wipes I do do a fair amount of staining and that sort of thing in the house touch-ups on some old pieces that I just don't have the heart to redo completely or I don't want to paint. I know you think I paint everything in DIY, but I don't. And so I love that Jenny found this. This is going to be a great resource for me. So thank for the, thanks for the cute craft, Jenny, and thanks for the little crafty tip. She is my go-to. She has all kinds of cool ideas, so I cannot wait for you guys to see how this turns out. So I'm doing the flat surfaces here and the edges, but you'll notice you start to see that white or that wood texture. Now I'm not so worried about keeping this hand clean and I'm gonna really squish the wipe down in there. Kind of squish and squeeze to get a little bit of that stain to work its way right down in to bubble up off of the wipe. And then we just come back through and wipe off any excess. All right, we're gonna do this. I'm gonna put this back in this baggie to make my cleanup as easy as possible. Peel my gloves off. Look, I didn't even get any on myself this time yet. And I'm just gonna let this dry for a second, and then we're gonna move on to our next part, which will be transferring our vinyl onto our cute little clipboard. Oh, hey, one more thing before we let this dry, and I totally forgot, I said I would do it and I forgot, is if you did get stain anywhere on your clip, you just take a paper towel you could take a Q-tip if it was in a hard to reach spot or an old rag and you just go over and wipe it down. I really didn't get much of anything on here by turning um, my clip. So hopefully you didn't either. But if you did, you can always do that. Okay, everything is all dry. So now that that's done, I'm gonna come over and I'm gonna weed out my vinyl. And I think you can just barely see that there is some writing here. Now, normally we're trying to put the letters onto something, but this time we have to remove the letters so that we just have the background because we're gonna take that vinyl, place it on the board and paint. So we're doing all kinds of stuff. We're staining, we're mod, mod podging, we're vinyling, we're painting, and I haven't even told you where the Mod Podge comes in, but that's a really cool thing. So I'm gonna pop my glasses on here so I can see close up, and I'm gonna start weeding out the letters that I don't need, because I just need the outline of them, if that makes sense. It's hard to get it started, but once you do, it goes really easy. 
Uh huh. This. Gotta make sure I get that little circle. I know there's a term for that and it escapes me at the moment. The dot of my eye. Okay, next letter. I do bend and crease it a little bit. I think if you had tweezers or one of those weeding tools, if you're a Cricut user, I use the stuff Jenny gives me to use and I have access to a Cricut and a Silhouette at work, but I don't own one, so I don't own the tools yet. I think it's just a matter of time, really, because it's so versatile, you can do so much stuff um, that I think I might have to have one, but I'm biding my time. All right. This is us. So this is the message that we're gonna put on our board. And how we're gonna do that is we're gonna take our transfer paper. And again, it's not always easy to get started. I usually work on a corner and kind of pick at it with my thumbnail. But once you get it, it comes off really easy. The recommendation is to put it on your shirt so that it's not too, too sticky. I've never really had to do that before or read that anywhere, so that was news to me. But that's okay, I did it, it worked. I never get anything on quite straight. I wouldn't worry about that. Perfect, it's overrated, right? So now I've got this on here and I want to peel off my vinyl with it, so make sure it's adhering and don't go fast like I did. Because the green, sorry, it's so hard to show you. This part is really important. Oh, I didn't do the thing. You're supposed to rub it. I don't have my card. Usually I have my name badge. You could use a credit card or insurance card. Something firm, I'm using my thumb. Rub it across. Make sure that transfer paper tape is adhering. I didn't do that. Sorry, guys. So we're starting over. Scooby-Doo ending, right? So I'm going to come across. And this little piece still doesn't want to come. So you know I like to push and squeeze with my thumb a little bit. See if I can just... Get it to stick and it's starting to come. Glasses go back on and now I've got it. Again, that middle part of this S is gonna be important. So I'm rubbing my thumbnail back over it. I probably should have gone over it with that card. Just like Jenny says, always listen to Jenny. I have a hard time with instructions sometimes. And there it goes. So it's working. And remember, if you're pulling from one side, what I'm struggling with is this inner piece of the S, getting it to come off clean. I was coming from the top, and you can see it's not sticking. So I'm gonna give it a good rub, and I'm gonna come from the opposite direction. And if I still can't get it to go, I'm going to rub it, pull on this backing a little bit, and there it goes. You just got to keep working at it. Just don't give up. Go over it and over it with that thumbnail. Work from a different angle or a different direction. And this middle part of the S, it's really trying me, isn't it? Got it. Got it, got it. These S's are tough. Now it's this part of the S doesn't want to come. I tried pulling from the bottom. I'm going to come back here, loosen it up. Put some pressure with my thumb again. Let's 
see if I can get it. And a little bit, sometimes I just pick at it with my nail as I'm pulling and see if I can get it all to stick, and it is. One more S, oh my gosh. These S's, I tell you what. The S's do not like me. That's okay. Ta-da! And finally, we have This Is Us. Let me tilt this down and show you how we put this on. So now I'm gonna line it up first facing me so I know that it looks kind of straight to me. And I'm gonna make sure it's in this bottom panel. You see that your board is in a couple panels. I have to stand up to give it a good look. It looks pretty straight to me. So now I'm going to push down. I'm going to grab in my bag and see if I can grab my name badge really quick. Nope, but look, I have a gift card. Ta-da! So I'm going to use this. I'm going to do that thing I should have done to take my vinyl off and do my weeding before. I'm just going to give it a good rub all the way over. I know Jenny says go in one direction. Rules. I tell you guys, I struggle. Okay. Looks pretty good, right? We want to start at one end and kind of get our vinyl to separate from, can you see it? It's separating, but the Vinyl wants to pull up too, so I'm gonna hold it with my thumb and grab it with the other hand and then just gently peel it off. I'm really gonna push down around my letters, all those spots that wanted to come off before or didn't want to come with us. And slowly but surely. Pull that off. I'm gonna keep this, this transfer tape, love it, and you can reuse it over and over. Now I'm going to just give a good press down not too hard because you don't want to catch anything and pull anything up. And my card's a little bendy, so it's not the best. I'm just going to go around all the edges. Make sure everything feels pressed down and solid. All right, and go from there. Now, the Mod Podge. This is what we're doing with this. Pop this off, and it's okay if it's a little dry or gooey at the top. No worries, there's plenty, and we're not gonna even use the tiniest amount of this on here. I'm gonna take my brush, and I'm going to, I kind of dabbed it on and then brushed it straight across. And then I'll pull it up closer so I can show you. You dab it on. and brush it straight across. You want a nice, even, but a thinner coat. You don't want it to be too thick. You don't want it to dry messy. I'm trying to make sure it's all in there and all those little nooks and crannies. Once I have it how I like it, I just brush across. You can go back in the other direction.
yeah, you get the top of the sage. And what this does is it creates a barrier for your paint. So we're gonna let this dry. I'm gonna wait 20, 30 minutes maybe. I, I can't remember exactly how long it took my last one to dry. You want it to dry, it'll dry clear. You won't see it. You want it to not be tacky to the touch or anything like that. And then we'll go through with our white paint. And when we put our white paint on, it creates that barrier between the vinyl and the wood. So you won't have anything seep underneath it. You won't have to clean up anything. You won't have to do anything. So here we go, not bad, this is us. Let's give it a few minutes and we'll come back and finish the paint. All right, and now we're dry. So everything's dry on here. I waited that 20 minutes, came over, rubbed down a little bit. Nothing's even the slightest bit tacky. I had taken my paintbrush that Jenny had included. I noticed how it's flat, so you can kind of dab paint on there. That's what we're gonna use it for. I used it for the Mod Podge because it works. It's what we have and it, and it worked. It's actually meant for this next step too. So I just gave it a quick rinse, dried it off on my paper towel before I got started. I did brush back and forth. I don't want any moisture in there and I don't want it to dilute my paint at all. So I'm gonna pop open my acrylic paint that Jenny gave us. I'm gonna dab my brush in. And you don't want too much, and I feel like that's awfully heavy. You're just gonna dab it on anywhere that you see the wood there. Dabbing it on. Move my paint over here. And manage to paint my finger. I know, it looks like I have a heavy hand. I kinda do. That's, a, that's okay, cause I have something that helps with that too. And you just want to get enough on there so you don't see any of the wood grain anymore. No more brown in that spot. Sorry, I know my board is bouncing a little bit. I can't seem to hold it still. And get all my paint on there. Now you guys get the idea. Okay, set my brush down. Got this thing covered. And now I'm gonna take my makeup sponge and I'm just gonna dab over it. I'm not really removing the paint so much as smoothing the paint. You can see the difference, right? I see a little of the brown color, but I see a lot of white. And I'm just smoothing things out. Now I'm gonna sit and let this dry before I peel it off. I would wait close to an hour, depending on how thick you have your paint on. If you've dabbed at it with your makeup sponge, the hour should be more than enough time. I had read that some people went a whole day. Um, other people who've tried this project, because Jenny always gives us Jenny always gives us the source and everything. Um, but I'm gonna wait the 20 minutes or so, make sure it's nice and dry, tap at it with my finger, and then peel it off. However, if you look at this and you feel like your white should be whiter, once it's dried, that's when you would just add another coat until you get it to your desired color that you would like. So we're gonna let this sit for just a few, let it get nice and dry, and then we're gonna have our big reveal. All right, guys, so 
we've let our paint dry, we did the whole thing, we stained everything, we let it dry. We applied our vinyl and we let that set. We put our Mod Podge on and that dried and then we did our white paint and we've let that dry too. So moment of truth, do a drum roll. Let's see, I'm just gonna peel it off. Here we go. And you know vinyl hates me, so it never comes off exactly how I want it to. Get in this spot. I'm gonna take that thumbnail again that I've been using oh so much today and work on that in just a second. Let's pull these pieces off. Pretty good, we're doing okay. Now I'm gonna just work at these for a sec, pop these glasses on so I can see a little bit better what I'm doing. Take my fingernail and try and get at this. And if it didn't come off very well, I would not hesitate to go get some tweezers at this point. Tweezers are everything when it comes to this vinyl, at least for me, I don't know. Maybe you guys have a little bit better luck with it than I do. And this little H that's giving me so much trouble. Ta-da! So go grab your favorite photo of you and your special someone. Move my camera again really quick. There we go. So then you grab your favorite photo of you and your special someone. I have that picture of myself and my sweet husband, Chad, way back when we were newly dating and it is definitely a favorite of mine. Now I have my photo clipboard. I'm gonna take the little wooden peg that came in our kit. Thank you, Jenny. Put that in the little spot delegated for it. And now it'll be a nice, let me scoot it back further. There you go. Now it'll be a nice little feature for my desk. I think I'm gonna take this to work so I can sit there. And when I'm having a tough day, I know it's hard to imagine we ever have a tough day at the library, but when I'm having a tough day and just need a moment of rest and relaxation, I can look over at my This Is Us photo clipboard, and everything's right in my world. This is a great little craft, super fun. I love things that I can either do quickly, put together, voila, I have this great thing, and I can walk away from it, or that I can do in little increments when I have a few moments here and there. I don't always have 10, 15, 20 minutes in a block of time to do things, and I know you don't either, but I had a few minutes to stain it and let it sit, and then I had a few minutes to Mod Podge and let it do, it do its thing, and then to add my paint and put my cute little pick in there. Yay! Thank you, Jenny, for such a super fun craft for all of us to do. I hope you guys have enjoyed this and that your stuff turns out as fantastically as this one did. Thank you to Jenny, and I hope you have an even better tomorrow. Tomorrow, you can have a better day because you can come pick up the next kit. We are doing a no so scrunchie. I'm a girl who could use a good scrunchie. So hopefully with all Jenny's tips and tricks, we'll all make some really good scrunchies. You guys have a great night. I'll see you soon.